Hello my lovely juniors this is Ashok and welcome to my youtube channel in the today's video that is chapter 9 we are discussing about the types of signals so it is very very important and if you learn this we will get to know for what type of signals how to make programming okay so first we will see the types of signals one is the analog another one is the digital these, these are the two types of signals okay used in the uh, instrumentation industry so here one analog so what is mean by analog we have to check it is a type of signal which is which is or which will be continuously varying see if i am uh, measuring some level it is continuously varying if i am using somewhere this uh, water okay and another one is temperature for example i am measuring the temperature of this tank so it will be continuously varying based on the weather conditions so this is how uh, it is a type of uh, signal which will be continuously varying that is called as the analog okay so this one is the level this one is the temperature so then digital what is mean by digital it is a type of signal which is uh, which is uh, constant and stable with its one or zero readings okay because in the digital if when you say digital whether it will be one or it will be zero only see for example they he is making switch on and off okay whether it will be one otherwise zero if you make on it is one if he's make uh, off means it is zero same like this only if he's if he if he opening the wall it will be one if he is closing means it is zero it is just uh, like that so digital means it is a type of signals which will be stable with its one or zero readings okay that's it next analog so analog what is mean by analog is uh, as i told you this is the analog wave form it, we will call it as a sine wave so it will be continuously varying like this but if you go for digital see whether it will be zero or one that's it whether it will be zero otherwise one there will be no change okay so types of signals are analog output so types of analog signals one is analog output and another one is the analog input so we will see what is uh, analog output and what is analog input we will see it now so this is the uh, plc in our uh, industry okay so how it will work full diagram i will take here see in the industry just think that we have one damper fan okay for this this fan i have to make it on and i want to know at what speed it is rotating so that is my job now i am giving set point with the 600 set point i want to uh, run this uh, fan and when i am giving set point at what set point it is uh, running what what uh, rpm it is running that i want to see how we will how it will work i will tell you now so so to make the fan on first what we will do this is the plc and we will be having the analog output model okay and then drive so in the plc first before we will be having the hmi from the hmi i will give command that i want 600 rpm speed okay so when i will give this set point what will happen this plc will give command to ao module so from ao module it will receive 4 to 20 milliamps and this will go to drive from the drive what will happen again current will go up for it may be some 415 volt 230 volt based on the uh, fan capacity so then what will happen when this fan gets power so it will start okay then i now fan is started with the 600 set point okay i want to know what is the feedback then what will happen so again here i will be having one speedometer speedometer so with this what will happen i am taking the speed with the rpm of this uh, fan from the speedometer via 4 to 20 milliamps again one more transmitter i am giving to the analog input module see what is this analog input analog output module i am explaining later but you have to just understand the concept concept okay so from this ai module what i am doing i am getting what is the value of the uh, rpm means what is the rpm of the current span uh, fan speed okay that one i am again taking giving to the plc which one i am displaying in the hmi so i am giving some set point and i am also receiving the some pv value so what is that we are calculating this is how our analog uh, signal will work we are giving some set point that is the analog output 
and we are receiving some rpm feedback that is the analog input so here i, I have written analog output fan speed increase or decrease set point is sending from plc2 to, to drive via ao module to damper fan so this is the 4 milliamps now it is the zero analog input okay the second one it is the plc is receiving the current fan speed from the a module via drive so this is as simple as it is okay now we will see how the digital will work so in the digital uh, signals we will have the digital output and digital input okay in the this is also uh, same module as i told you i have one motor here i want to make it on and i want to know whether the motor is on or off when i uh, give command to it so uh, again same will happen i have one hmi i have given on command okay to motor then plc what it will do it will give command via do module so 24 volts will go the in mcc there will be a relay it will activate that relay from that mcc power supply will go to motor so it may be 230 volt not this one maybe 230 volt 415 volt based on the motor capacity then motor will get on how i will know whether motor is on or off so i will be having one tag for run feedback so run feedback so what it will happen so this motor will be having the run feedback signal so that one i am receiving through the digital input module so whatever the output going from plc is do that is digital output whatever we are receiving from the field or instrument that is the input digital input module from the digital input module again i am taking and giving to plc so that i will get to know what is the status of the motor so this is how the digital input and digital output works see i have written clearly here digital output start command is sending from plc to electric motor via do module mcc motor digital input start or stop feedback is sending from electric motor to plc via digital input module so it is i i, I can understand that uh, in initial stage you cannot understand this module and everything so when i start uh, classes about uh, this plc modules and everything and th there i will explain uh, clearly this is i just want you to understand with some example okay so that's all about it uh, about the digital signal and uh, analog signal in the next chapter that is chapter 10 uh, we are studying about the measuring instruments it will be uh, very important and also very easy to understand because if you know all the instruments very well then you can make uh, this programming and understanding of the process will be very very easy okay so we'll meet in the next video till then see you bye bye